What's up, Aquarius? Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is going to be general. This is going to be love for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You guys are lucky. You get to see my tarot of dreams, but when they came in the mail, they're kind of bent, so they're a little, a little hard to shuffle, but still the same messages for you guys. So it's going to be general. It's definitely not going to resonate with everyone. The only way to get it to resonate with your energy and your specific situation is to get a private reading. Still not offering those yet, but I will be soon. So let's get right into it. If this spread doesn't resonate with you, definitely stay tuned till the end. I'll be going in with the beautiful vice versa tarot. The cards are absolutely gorgeous. I'm doing something different with those. So let's get right to it. Definitely check out your moon. And you're rising. I know I'm a little late putting up the videos this month, and I greatly apologize, guys. Ah. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, curious. In love from now, and we're let it, gonna let it go till February 20th. So, these energies can play out until then, before then, or even exceed the 20th, depending on your situation, if this resonates with you. So definitely give us some time to play out. So Aquarius in love from now until February 20th, 2018 in love, spirit. Zodiac sign of Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising from now until February 20th, 2018. One more. Oh, this deck is so much. Alright, let's see. There. Alright, so overall energy. Damn, guys. Okay, these cards are a little bit different. They do have the zodiac signs right here and then kind of like the planet symbols and mercury whatever else i haven't really studied them yet but this is a sign of taurus so earth energy um there may be some financial problems right now or somebody you know is suffering from this this could also be feelings of rejection here left out in the cold as they call it so let's see what's behind there Aquarius, your card. Wow. So wishes being fulfilled here. The star having hope and faith. Having hope and faith, but there's still this rejection. There may be someone that's unable to walk away emotionally. I want you guys to see this card, these cards because they're beautiful. There may be somebody that's unable to walk completely walk away from someone emotionally. That person may be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or someone that came in and gave you some news, rushed in and gave you some news. Could have been an air energy and also got Capricorn. Aquarius and Capricorn. These cards are a little bit different here. So, let's see. Present energy for Aquarius. Ooh, Seven of Swords reverse, guys. So, let me show it to you upright because these cards are gorgeous. Definitely the sign of Aquarius. Interesting, huh? So Seven of Swords, yuckiness, when it's upright, it's usually cheating, shadiness, lying, sneaking around. When it's upside down, it's either getting out of that energy, or I usually find that it's like sneaking away from something. So we'll figure out what's going on. So thoughts and concerns for Aquarius, we have the Two of Cups reversed. So maybe a connection that may be dying out here, sign of cancer, water energy, or an ending to a relationship here. So on the bottom, we have justice reversed, sign of Libra, but something unjust, something unfair, something not balanced has happened. Oh no, guys. So in the past... We have the Four of Wands, so this is, you know, marriages, stability, happy home, celebrations. There's a little bit of instability here. Sign of Aries, fire energy. 
So we'll figure out what that is. So what's crossing Aquarius, what's holding you back or influencing you negatively or positively is the seven of coins reversed. Again, Taurus energy, but it could be, it, it could be any sign. Someone waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting on somebody that they've put a lot of time and effort into. Someone about ready to give up. Someone giving up, not wanting to put in the work in a, in a relationship anymore. Maybe someone is sneaking away or maybe somebody got, I mean, it's different for everybody. Maybe somebody got caught doing something. So going into the near future, hopefully this does play out by February 20th. If it doesn't, it may exceed that. It may be earlier, earlier than that. We have the judgment card reverse, and this is usually no second chance is being granted or the universe kind of warning you, you know, make that judgment call. You know, this is all about rebirth, people being forgive, forgiven for what they've done wrong. And this is kind of like, you know, no, no second chances for that, that rebirth here. So this may be regarding someone else that you don't want to give a second chance to. So other current situations, wow. You very well could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Somebody who's very emotionally balanced, intuitive, maybe psychic. It is the sign of Cancer and Gemini on here. So two different signs. She's also got on her necklace the sign of Pisces. So it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but this mixes it up. And I, th I believe it's two-thirds one sign and then one-third another. It's weird how they do it but some air energy in there too. So external to Aquarius, we have the Page of Swords reverse, guys. Someone stalking you? Is someone stalking you guys? Could be getting messages from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that are not truthful, or this person is watching, 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 or it could be vice versa. External to you could also apply to you as well. This could also be cutting someone out, or the messages that you're getting are not, not truthful here. We'll clarify. So hopes and fears, oh, really hope. I don't think this would be a, a hope, but Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, sword energy. So this is having anxiety, nightmares, not being able to sleep at night, you know, just plagued by thoughts, not being able to sleep, so... The outcome for Aquarius, oh my god, guys, the Three of Cups reverse. So there is somebody a lurking in your friggin' relationship. And with that Seven of Swords, either somebody snuck away, and there's now another person involved, and you've got someone keeping tabs on you, or you guys are getting the hell out of this, or vice versa because there was a third party. Okay, we'll clarify, we'll see what's going on, and then we'll also go in with the vice versa tarot. These cards are huge, by the way. And they have the tarot of dreams. Let me show you guys real quick. Hopefully I don't knock nothing over. Yeah, tarot of dreams. And it's crazy, because they come with four extra cards, palace of swords, palace of cups. It's a pretty cool deck. I just thought I'd show you guys. Alright, so let's get right into it. Let's see why the Four of Wands is reversed in the past for the recent past for Aquarius. Why is the Four of Wands reversed? Thank you. Page of Cups. So there was a love offer that came in that somebody did not want. It very well could have been from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Taurus, or Aries here. Somebody wanting an abundant new beginning. There also could have been fertility as well. Something happened. Somebody turned down some type of love offer. Let me see. Why is the Page of Cups reversed for Aquarius in the past? Okay, so someone was being a player. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, Le Aries and Sagittarius strongly. Somebody was very impatient, <clears throat> not following through on their promises, not emotionally balanced at all. And when the magician reversed, somebody was manipulative. So someone, yeah, someone avoided a disaster here. 
by avoiding this cup of love with the tower here. Scorpio energy as well. Wow, guys. Okay. So. Yeah, so clearly somebody knew someone was a player or somebody's done. Why is the Seven of Swords reversed for Aquarius? Alright, we've got the Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Doesn't have to be. But somebody doesn't know if they can do it anymore. Somebody's about ready to give up. You see him sitting on that step. He's just like, I don't know. He or she. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know if I have it in me. So someone literally may be trying to escape the relationship. Like leave the relationship. But there is a victory here. There is a victory from healing from this situation because someone's not able to fully move on. This may have been expressed. <clears throat> so somebody's hanging in there for a second round or another round. So let's see why the Justice card is reversed. Why is the Justice card reversed for Aquarius from now until February 20th, Spirit? Why is the Justice card reversed? Damn cards. Why is the justice card reversed, spirit? Okay. So someone... Someone was either author offering love to you, Aquarius, or you were offering love to someone else and it was unjust, unfair, somebody, or somebody was bored in love. And there are secrets that came out here. Very well could have been somebody lying. Someone lying. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy here. Libra as well. Again, it could be any sign, sun, moon, or rising. So secrets had come out that somebody was like maybe bored in love. Or there was a love offer that came in that screwed everything up. And maybe somebody was lying here. I also have Virgo energy as well. Let's see, why is the Two of Cups reversed in Aquarius's thoughts and concerns, Spirit? Why is the Two of... Thank you. Wow. You guys are thinking about clarity, the truth, a victory in the world. Endings here. Completions. Like, you want the truth? Or you're thinking somebody else wants the truth? Yeah, we've got the Ten of Wands releasing burdens here. Very well could be dealing with the mother of your children or like some type of ma maternal figure here that's caused some type of pain. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see. Why is the seven of coins reverse crossing Aquarius? Page of wands. So I don't even know how to, how this fell out, but there could be communication to and from an Aries Leo Sagittarius or there is communication like hey I can't do this anymore can't do this anymore I don't feel the spark with you anymore Gemini Libra Aquarius energy Cancer Pisces can't yeah I Cancer Pisces Scorpio Gemini and Taurus it could be any sign guys damn Okay, so I definitely think somebody has more than one person because you got the Cancer Pisces Scorpio right here waiting with her cup of, her cup of love. Him, him or her. So let's see. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Aquarius from now until February 20th? Wow. So there may be an Aries Leo Sagittarius that is pissed off because... Of this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And somebody. She may be definitely feeling the rejection. And then Aquarius. We've got your card. There's definitely two people here guys. So on this Sagittarius. We also have Pisces. So this literally could be one person. Be a Pisces. And they could be pissed off here. Wow, or it's two people in this Aries Leo Sagittarius or Pisces is pissed. All right, let's see. Let's see why the Judgment card is here going into the near future. Why is the Judgment card reversed for Aquarius? 
from now until February. Oh my god. So someone's getting cut out here. I think a Taurus Virgo Capricorn's getting cut out. You guys, there's way too many people here. We've got, yeah, Taurus or Aries, Libra. Someone's either getting cut out or somebody's being really judgmental. Like, you've got, I think you've got an offer coming in in the near future from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. But somebody gets cut right out. That's why judgment is reversed. Remember, these can be sun, moon, or rising. Yeah, see, somebody's going to want to commit in the, in the near future. But see, someone's not willing to take a risk here. So let's see the signs we have. We have Virgo and I call the Fool Aries. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow, guys. There's definitely a lot of people here, unless somebody's taking on, like, you know, unless, unless you've got earth in your chart, air in your chart, water, you know, you know what I mean. Like, say you have water in your chart and somebody's pissed at you, or your girlfriend or boyfriend has water in their chart and they're really a fire sign. It could go either way like that. But it looks like two different people here. It looks like this Queen of Wands is pissed at this Queen of Cups. Let me check this out. Why is the Queen of Cups here and the Queen of Wands? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, coming out of conflict. Competition. There are definitely two different people here. Someone's pissed. I see no second chances with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or an Aries is what I'm seeing. Father of your children, possibly. Um, I know with Aquarius, I always get mixed energy. So there may be several different stories within this. So only take what resonates, guys. Libra and Aquarius is always kind of scattered. So let's see. Why is the page... So I might do another spread for you guys. Let's see. Why is the Page of Swords reversed external to Aquarius? Why is the Page of Swords external? Wow, you've definitely got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius external to you that may want to speak with you. They may be a little bit emotionally detached, but they're fair. They're upright, telling the truth. Maybe they're not yet communicating. Maybe they're going to. It looks like they... They don't want to be single. It looks like they want to commit to you, but somebody's not willing to take a chance, maybe from negative memories from them in the past. Damn, guys. Or they want communication from you. Yeah. You guys are definitely going to be cutting out a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Aries here going into the near future. Just look at her. Like, boom, she's ready to cut. Cut this m mother effer out. Excuse my language. All right, why is the Nine of Swords in Aquarius' hopes and fears? It could also be a Taurus. Again, guys, I'm seeing Taurus here. If you can see up at the top. And I believe Cancer as well. It's very interesting. Wow. So we have the Tower. So somebody's avoiding some, some kind of disaster, chaos, drama, something out of the blue. Maybe secrets getting out. Maybe somebody's avoiding someone. Like here, somebody's like... Love is definitely on your mind as well, but here's the devil as well. It could be Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but maybe a toxic relationship, codependency, codependent relationship, anything that makes you feel bound and tied to something that leaves you feeling trapped. It could be drugs, alcohol, whatever, whatever, toxic relationship, addictions. Let's see, why is the, and this is Scorpio energy, so let's see, why is the tower reversed? Yeah, 
Yeah, somebody doesn't have the strength to make a decision here. Leo energy. Maybe you have an offer coming in from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody doesn't know if they want it. That wanted to randomly fly out. That may be happening by the 20th. Who knows? That may be for someone who needed to hear it. So why is the Three of Cups reversed? Maybe that was why. Somebody has a decision to make it again. Two different people. Yeah, somebody's trying to move on and they cannot. Aquarius energy here. But again, it could be any, anyone. Somebody's unable to move on even though there's, yeah, with the lovers, Gemini energy. A relationship that has three different people in it. Somebody's still holding on to that passion, that connection here, even though somebody may not be building on the relationship. Let's see. Why is the Three of Cups reversed, Spirit? Why is the Three of Cups reversed? Whoa. Yeah, see, someone wants to commit. Someone doesn't want to stay single. We've got Virgo energy, but somebody doesn't want to take a risk. Someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith. Yeah, someone's holding on to the past. Stuck in the past. Needing to release the past here. And then we've got a Taurus or Aries. Maybe a maternal figure here. Yeah, somebody was being a player and manipulative. I'm seeing it. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. All right, so let's see. Let's take the after tarot that actually predicts the future and see what Aquarius can expect from now until February 20th in love. What can Aquarius expect in love from now until February 20th? One more, guys. What can Aquarius expect in love from now until February 20th? So, someone is not going to feel stuck and trapped in their head anymore. You know, anxiety, things like that. Somebody may get recognition and reward. They may get attention here. But Aquarius, we've got your car. Is somebody losing that hope and faith? No. We want to flip that back up. Damn. Okay, what else is coming in for Aquarius? Alright, so somebody may be confused about a decision that they have to make. Somebody may isolate themselves. Virgo energy is again. Yeah, see, someone's giving up. Two. Double nine of wands here. It's like somebody doesn't know if they can do it. And then in the future, bam. But maybe... All right, what can Aquarius expect in love from now? Magician, okay, Aries energy. Boom, you can manifest whatever it is you want, guys. It looks like someone may be walking away from a fire sign here. Oof. Okay, what else can Aquarius expect in love, spirit? What do they really need to know from now until February 20th? Yeah, someone may go into isolation. That's all I'm getting here. Yeah, there may be endings because someone is doing some one-night stand type bullshit. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and I see the damn tower. Give me something positive, spirit. Is there anything coming in for air? Ah, oh, stable home. It can happen. Marriages, commitments. Let's see, why is the Four of Wands here for Aquarius? Oh, the damn devil. All right, hold on, guys. Why is the Four of Wands here for Aquarius? See, someone may not take the offer here. It could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, positive. Queen of Cups reversed. Yikes. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio may not... All right, there may be a victory with them, but they're reversed, okay? Scorpio in particular. It's like something's 
not ending, something that no longer serves you or this other person isn't ending, but there is a victory here. But I don't like how the Cancer Pisces Scorpio is reversed. Definitely needs to be some healing. All right, positivity for Aquarius. God damn spirit. Okay, yeah, see someone from the past is returning. Who is this? Why is the Six of Cups here for Aquarius? Or someone may go back to their past. Could be you guys or it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't like how they're falling out like that though. Trust your intuition, guys. Someone from the past may return. Maybe it's that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But you may turn them down. Boom. Cut them right off. Alright, guys. Definitely put you guys first when I do the next readings. But stay tuned. I'm going to be going in with the Vice Versa Tarot. So we'll see what we get out of that. Be right back, guys. Alright, we're back. Aquarius. <clears throat> so this is interesting. Interesting, interesting. Hold on, let me move my deck. Alright, so overall energy, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed again. This is the upright side. This is the reversal. So, he is now inside. He's now come back inside. He's no longer outside in the cold. He's inside, but he's still, he or she, is still feeling bad about himself. Needing to find this light right here. Needing this light to guide him. Or her. He's definitely feeling bad about something he's done. Maybe taking it out on himself. Or herself. Okay, that's the overall energy here. Somebody's definitely feeling bummed out. So, next we have the devil. Okay, reversal. It has the same meaning. So, any type of temptations, codependent relationships... You can't escape the devil in this deck. Can't escape it. It is toxic relationships. It could be alcohol addictions, drug addictions. It could be gambling. It could be sex addictions. It could be emotional abuse, physical abuse. Whatever is tempting that is forbidden here. But while it's reversed, it says the devil's back is turned for a little while. And notice this lotus down here. There's a time it's easier to escape right now. Especially if you're inside. You're now inside. No longer outside. You're inside. So you're going places. You've got that light to guide you to get away from this bastard. <laughs> this is a pretty interesting card. And then you can see the pentagram, the upside down one with the face in the middle. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. A lot of detail. So after the devil, after the devil's back is turned, I hope this is what you guys are doing. Or your significant other. It could go either way. The energies could be different. Somebody finally walks away. All these cups are tainted. So somebody is either walking away from the devil or walking away from this this temptation, this these addictions, these demons, whatever they may be. Somebody is finally walking away from that or walking away from this relationship. But see, needing to find that inner light here. And then we have the Hierophant. Walking to the Hierophant. What is the Hierophant all about? Spirituality. The light being illuminated, marriages, higher levels of commitment, trust. Like, can you really trust this person with this mask on? You know, the light, picking up that light, the light right here in this candle as well. Something you need to know, something you need to see, or something your partner needs to know, something they need to see. But this, this honestly looks good. Boom, the be devil's back is turned. Boom, run away. Ha, you know, have that be illuminated. Boom. Maybe somebody is returning to a committed relationship or a marriage. You know, after getting out of something toxic or addictions. Or maybe there was a third party for some of you. Whatever your situation was here. So we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and it looks like there was definitely some heartbreak here. Definitely some heartbreak. And there may have been secrets here. Secrets hidden, maybe. I'm not seeing it. And I'm seeing justice again. So. Let's see. Let's clarify. I'm not going to get my deck for that. Hold on, guys. All right. So let's clarify this. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius from now until... February 20th. This is definitely not going to resonate with everyone. It's general. Definitely check out your moon or rising sign. I'm going to try to get the rest of the signs out as fast as I can, guys. So Aquarius in love from now until February 20th to clarify the spread spirit. Ooh, positive change is coming. Money-wise as well. Alright, what else? To clarify the spread for Aquarius. Yeah, illumination. I just saw the sun, guys. Alright, so... They don't want to shuffle. Aquarius, to clarify the spread spirit from now until February 20th. One more, guys. Wow. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's see. Why is the double reverse for Aquarius from now until February 20th? Why is the double reverse for Aquarius? There is definitely a love offer that you guys had to make a decision about. Or you do have to make a decision about. Definitely could be another air sign you're, that you're dealing with. A Capricorn or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it, do, it looks like this love offer is turned down. Like you guys are turning down this love offer. This is in the past position, but it could play out further. It could also be that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Capricorn. Maybe they did not want to commit here. Maybe they, there was a lot of conflict with them, a lot of heartbreak. Yeah, I definitely see, let's see, why is the Page of Cups reversed? Yeah, Knight of Swords, no progress. No progress. Like, you guys, it's like you guys cut this love offer right out. Like, avoided this disaster here. Scorpio energy as well, like, you drop someone. Like, release these burdens here. Or someone did. It could go either way. So, somebody clearly walked away here. If there was communication, it might have been really harsh, really nasty, or there was just no progress. Could have been another air sign. Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It could be any sign. Why is this Eight of Cups here for Aquarius from now until February 20th in Love Spirit? Wow, got wow, we have the double twice. Double twice, guys. Unbelievable, the shadow side. So this could be emotional, abusive relationships, toxic relationships, anything addictive here. It's like someone is waiting on someone to leave this. Leave this toxic situation. Definitely could have been juggling two people here. Somebody's finally made a decision to drop someone. Yeah, one night stand type energy. Could have been with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Non-committal energy here. Or Capricorn. It could be any sign. Let's see, why is the Two of Pentacles reversed? Why is the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, someone gave up. This is definitely someone from the past. Someone gave up on that person from the past. Whomever it may be. Yeah, one night stand type energy. You guys cut it out. It could have been another air sign or it was you guys. Aries Leo Sagittarius. You guys cut it out. Or Leo is what I'm seeing. Yeah. Wow. So boom. Let's see. Why is the Hierophant here for Aquarius? 
from now until February 20th. Queen of Pentacles. Be very careful. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that doesn't doesn't want to commit because you guys, here's your card. Maybe you guys don't have hope and faith. And there's also two different people here. Let's see. Why is the Queen of So maybe it's this other person that has Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? All right, we had one flip. I can't find it now. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed, Spirit? Yeah, someone gives up. Someone doesn't want to fight anymore. Same in the last spread, guys. It's like someone is protecting, standing their ground, fighting for what it is they want, and someone is just giving up on an earth sign here. But still, somebody is unable to walk away emotionally from it, this earth sign. I believe that's sun, moon, or rising. Yeah, but see, somebody could either be you guys or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is emotionally exhausted, drained, physically, mentally, spiritually drained. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do or you don't know what to do about them. Somebody definitely wants a second chance here. Somebody's definitely come to a realization about something they've done wrong and they want a second chance here. They may want their home back, their family, their marriage. Somebody's definitely feeling that regret and remorse. So let's see. Where's that damn card that flipped? Conflict. Somebody's losing hope and faith because there's so much arguing. So much arguing. Maybe somebody's afraid that somebody's keeping a secret relationship here. That's what I'm seeing. Maybe this Cancer Pisces Scorpio that just can't, can't see reality here. Could be any sign, guys. Sun, moon, or rising. So let's see, why is the Five of Pentacles reversed, the overall energy for Aquarius? Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed, the overall energy for Aquarius from now until February 20th? Yeah, there's definitely a love offer made that was not, not trustworthy. Definitely an offer coming in, definitely healing. Yeah, somebody wanting to come out of the cold. Are you kidding me? Double. Double, double. Somebody wanting to return. But, see, somebody's not putting the effort in. Maybe they they can't. See, they're unable to emotionally walk away. But somebody's not putting in the effort in now, but maybe they can't here. Also got Aries, somebody that may be like losing control here. This could be a father figure. There actually literally could have been, I, I hate to say this, but like a death in the family here. That's messing someone up. But you definitely got an offer coming in from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. All right. What's the best advice for Aquarius from now until February 20th, Spirit? What is the best advice for Aquarius from now until February 20th? Wow. You have the Ten of Cups here, but somebody's not putting the work in. Somebody's waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and has put so much time and effort and energy into someone and they may just give up. And we have the lovers, the sign of Gemini. A relationship ending due to a third party here, guys. But there is a chance for, there is a second chance here that can be given. There is this happy home if somebody puts the work in, guys. That's what I'm seeing. It's up to you guys. You all have free will. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys at the end of the month. Thanks, guys. Take care.